Welcome back to Random J. Let's get gunning. Welcome back to Random J. Here are 5 bizarre weapons used during World War II. 1. A ship-mounted aerial mine rocket launcher. The unrotated projectile rocket launcher was an especially ill-conceived anti-aircraft measure, created to protect ships from enemy planes. The unrotated projectile was fired from a ship, and, upon reaching 1000 feet in elevation, it would explode and disperse mines attached to parachutes via 400 feet of cable. The general idea was to create an aerial minefield wherein enemy planes would become ensnared in the mess of cables, pulling the mines into their fuselages and downing the plane. However, the mines, cables, and parachutes were all easily visible and enemy pilots had no trouble flying above or below the aerial minefield. 2. Suicide bomb dogs In 1942, Hitler's Nazi infantry invaded Soviet Russia with German panzer tanks. The Russians, who had used military dogs since 1924, sought to turn their canine soldiers into anti-tank mines by strapping explosives around the dogs' bodies. During training, the dogs were starved and let loose on stationary Soviet tanks that had food hidden under them. Once the dogs were underneath the tank they were trained to pull a detonator cord with their teeth. However, most dogs were unable to comprehend or execute the task while the sights, sounds, and smells of battle raged around them. The dogs would usually turn around and run toward their Russian handler, only to be shot and killed on sight. 3. The largest gun ever used in battle Hitler Gustav Railway Gun Screen Grab eager to invade France. Nazi leader Adolf Hitler demanded a new weapon that could easily pierce the concrete fortifications of the French Maginot Line, the only major physical barrier standing between him and the rest of Western Europe. In 1941, the year after France fell, German steelmaker and arms manufacturer Friedrich Kropage began constructing Hitler's Gustav gun, according to the documentary Top Secret Weapons, the four-story, 155-foot long gun, which weighed one. 350 tons, shot 10,000 pound shells from its mammoth 98 foot barrel. The gun size was not only its source of strength, but also its downfall. The huge gun could only be transported via rail system and was an easy target for allied bombers flying overhead. The project was scrapped within a year. 4 V3 Cannon the V-3 was the unnecessary younger seedling of the V-1 and V-2 rockets that pulverized London during the Blitzkrieg. Devised in the summer of 1944, the V-3 was designed to fire 309-foot long dart-shaped shells every hour. A series of secondary charges positioned along the 416-foot barrel were meant to speed up the projectile, which would hypothetically be able to reach London from well over 100 miles away in the French town of Mimoyex. But when the V3 finally became operational, the velocity of the shell was a mere 3,280 feet per second, which was estimated to be about half what was needed to reach London. Hitler had authorized the production of 50 of these weapons, but before the original plans for the V3 could be implemented, Allied forces bombed and destroyed the gun, despite Germany's best efforts to hide the munitions under haystacks. In the end, only two miniature, if you can call 150 feet long miniature, versions of the gun became operational, with only a few shots ever fired to an unknown effect. 5. A mini tank like remote controlled demolition vehicle the Nazis Goliath track mine was anything but Goliath like in stature. Known as the Doodlebug by American troops, the Goliath was run with a joystick operated by a controller. It had coiled within its compartments 2145 feet of cable leading back to the controller. The mini tank was powered by two electric motors, later replaced by gas burners, and able to carry more than 100 pounds of high explosives. The Goliath was meant to slide under allied tanks and deliver its explosive payload to their vulnerable undersides. However, it proved to be susceptible to cord cutting and later on radio controlled models were introduced. The Germans built 7500 Goliaths during the war, which suggests that they met with some success. Thank you for watching Random J and remember to like this video and subscribe for more content like this and more.